I'm Keith R. DeCandido, and this is an excerpt from book four of the Systema Paradoxa series, which is entitled All the Way House, and it provides the secret origin of the Jersey Devil. This sequence uh, takes place in January of 1909 in the city of Camden, New Jersey, and features Josiah Clevenger, who is a slayer, a supernatural hunter for hire, uh, and he has just been hired to track down the, the what a creature that is alternately called the Leeds Devil or the Jersey Devil, which has been sighted all over central New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania uh, at this time. So, Emelina, this is Josiah's sister, regarded Josiah with concern. I take it that fancy dressed gentleman had work for you as a slayer? Josiah nodded. And it seems this creature that has everyone all a Twitter might be real as well. He shared Grimwade's story with, of Campbell Spielman's Henhouse Intruder. I shall need to hire a horse and then travel to the places where the devil has been sighted. Luckily, Jed, you have a very smart sister. Frowning, Josiah asked, What do you mean? I suspected it would not be long before someone hired you to seek out this Jersey devil, and so I have compiled a list of all the places it has been seen, according to the newspaper accounts. Josiah left out a hearty laugh. I can always count on you, Emmy. If you'd be so kind as to provide that list, after you've added Pemberton to it. Meantime, I'm going to go to Mr. Kowalski and see about a horse, and also call upon Miss Silverio. And I will send for young Master Oliver to see if he is available to mind the store for the next few mornings. That brought Josiah up short. Phew! Do you believe this will require more than a day's work? Jed, the list I am to give you includes Philadelphia, Collingswood, Hamilton, Millville, Burlington, and now also Pemberton, not to mention right here in Camden. It will take you several days merely to reach all those locales, query the citizenry, and track the monster down. I suppose you are correct. With a sigh, Josiah put his hat, coat, and scarf on, and departed the store. First he went to Kowalski's stables and negotiated for the renting of a horse for a few days. Unsurprisingly, Mr. Kowalski preferred to be paid in horse feed. Disappointingly, Sylvan Y, an Arabian Josiah had enjoyed riding many times in the past, was not available, but Mr. Kowalski promised a good steed would be provided come the morning. His next stop was Marianina Silverio, who owned a small house on the outskirts of Camden. Most knew her as an apothecary, but she was also the finest supplier of magical items this side of the Delaware River. Miss Silverio had inherited the business from her mother, Grazia. Mrs. Silverio had been a licensed seller of magical items in her native Italy until she, her husband, and her infant daughter emigrated to the United States along with many others 20 years before. Mr. Silverio had died of a fever while traversing the Atlantic. Grazia had raised Marianina alone here in Camden, training her to take over the family business when she died, which she did of consumption only two years earlier. While Josiah had not wished ill on Grazia truly, he was grateful that he now only had to deal with her daughter. The widow Silverio had been frightening, and he had an irrational fear that she was going to turn him into a forest animal every time he visited. He had no such fear now, visiting her daughter. Ciao, Signor Clevenger, Miss Silverio said upon Josiah's entering the small house. Even as Miss Silverio spoke, she rose from the rocking chair where she had been doing some knitting. Her black cat, Sregata, meowed at him and rubbed up against his boot. Good day to you, Miss Silverio, Josiah said as he reached down to rub Sregata's head. What may I do for you today, senor? Have you heard the tales of the Leeds Devil? Shrugging, Miss Silverio said, I have read the accounts in the newspapers. Well, it would appear to be real. Which one? She let out a musical laugh. As I say, I have read the accounts in the newspapers, and I have found that no two of them are the same. I cannot say for sure, but I have a client who has seen it, and is willing to provide a drawing of what he saw. What I need from you is something that will allow me to either bind it or harm it, Preferably both. Miss Silverio let out a slight hissing noise. I know not what the creature is, so I know not how to bind it. As for harming, I have found that silver is often periculoso, uh, harmful to Imostri. Josiah had been afraid of this, but he had to at least try. In that case, I will require a box of silver forty-four caliber rimfire. Ah, still using the Henry rifles, sir. See? It has served me quite well. More so when armed with your silver ammunition. Is it always that you kill what you hunt? We are called slayers for a reason, Miss Silverio, Josiah said gravely. What we hunt are creatures of the devil, trying to do harm to good people. It is my function to stop them by any means necessary. Those means often require the use of my Henry rifle. 
Are we not people of reason who may talk and find a solution? This is war, Josiah said. He didn't add a war that has gone on for millennia. See, and war is end when men sit at a table and bargain over the terms of peace. If scripture teaches us nothing else, Miss Silverio, Josiah said quietly, it is that attempts to bargain with satanic forces always end badly. She smiled then. And yet you speak well, senor. Most slayers would find my questions offensive and tell me to, uh, how did that one gentleman put it? Ah, yes, be quiet and fetch my magic, woman. Disagreeing with someone is no excuse for being impolite to a lady, Miss Silverio. He bowed slightly. She inclined her head with a smile. Grazie. I will now be quiet and fetch your magic. To find out more, uh, check out Sistema Paradoxa All the Way House, which actually takes place in three different time periods, uh, in 2020, in 1909, as you heard, and also in the uh, middle of the 18th century. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoy the book when you pick it up. You can get it uh, from eSpecBooks.com. Uh, go to the Square site from there. You can order from any online book dealer, um, and it also comes as part of a subscription to the Cryptid Crate. Uh, you can check me out online at dekendido.net, which links to all the various places you can find me online, including my Patreon at patreon.com slash crad. Check it out, read the books, enjoy the books, and please be safe. Thank you.